Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the psychometric testing website howtobecome.com and in this training video I will teach you how to pass a mechanical comprehension test. If you are required to undertake a mechanical comprehension test anytime soon, please make sure you stay tuned because the tips questions and explanations I am about to give you will help you pass with 100%. And to achieve that goal, I will cover the following four things in this training video. Number one, so I will show you the type of questions you will have to answer in your mechanical comprehension test. These questions come up all the time. I will help you answer them correctly. Number two, I will then give you lots of test questions to practice live on the screen in preparation for the real test. Don't forget, the more questions you practice before the test, the higher your scores will be. And then finally, number three, I will tell you how you can access my free online psychometric testing suite. So let's start working through those mechanical comprehension test questions, my tips and explanations. Here we go. Question number one, which of the tools shown is best suited for tightening or loosening pipes? Make sure you read the question. That is very important. Which of the tools shown is best suited for tightening or loosening pipes? And we are given four answer options. A, a flathead screwdriver. B, an adjustable wrench. C, a pipe wrench or D, a claw hammer. Now, most people will select B as their answer, but that is incorrect. The correct answer is actually C, which is a pipe wrench. Now, the pipe wrench is specifically designed for gripping cylindrical objects because of its serrated jaws and also the adjustable clamp, which makes it perfect for turning pipes. Don't forget the question stated, which of the tools shown is best suited for tightening or loosening pipes? But most people would answer that incorrectly by choosing answer option B. But the correct answer there is C. So now it's your turn to try some mechanical comprehension test questions. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. Please post your answers to questions two, three, four and five in the comment section below the video, and I will come on here each day and mark your answers for you. Thank you very much indeed. Mechanical comprehension test question number two. Which is the best tool to use for breaking up concrete? Is it answer A, B, C or D? Now on the right hand side, I will give you a timer. Now the best way to prepare for your test is to practice under timed conditions because you will have to do that during the real mechanical comprehension test. So please tell me your answer to question two in the comments section below the video. Here is your eight second timer. Fantastic, well done, try another one. Mechanical comprehension test question three. A ball is rolling down a hill. At which point will a ball be traveling the fastest? Is it point A, point B, point C or point D? Please tell me your answer in the comment section. Here is your eight second timer. Fantastic, well done. Don't forget the more practice you do, the higher your scores will be. Mechanical comprehension test question four. This type of question comes up all the time. Which rope would require the most effort to pull the mast over? On the left hand side, we have a mast and then we have three ropes attached to it. Which rope, A, B or C, would require the most effort to pull the mast over? Tell me your answer in the comments section. Here is your timer. Brilliant, well done. And try one more before we move on to a different type. Which load, A or B, is the heaviest? Most people get this question wrong. Is it load A, load B, or answer option C, both the same weight? Tell me your answer, A, B or C, in the comments section below the video. Here is your eight second timer.
Okay, let's now try a different type of common mechanical comprehension test question. Question number six, if cog A turns clockwise, which way will cog C turn? Answer options A, clockwise, B, anti-clockwise. Now, these questions feature regularly during mechanical comprehension tests. Now, before you answer this question, it's important to understand the difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise. And the best way to do this is to just picture an image of a clock face. The direction the hands turn on that clock is clockwise, and the alternative direction to the left is called anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's now go back to the question. If cog A turns clockwise, which way will cog C turn? So A turns clockwise, B therefore turns anti or counterclockwise, which means C turns clockwise. Answer is A clockwise. Okay, now it's your turn again to try some more mechanical comprehension test questions. Please post your answers to questions 7, 8, 9 and 10 in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Here we go. Mechanical comprehension test question 7. If cog D turns clockwise, which way will cog A turn? Answer options A, clockwise or B, anti-clockwise. Tell me your answer in the comments section. I will give you a 10 second timer for this. Here we go. Fantastic, well done. Mechanical comprehension test question eight. If cog A turns clockwise, which way will cog F turn? This is more difficult. If you can answer this within 10 seconds, you are doing great. If you need more time, simply pause the video. It's important you get the question correct. Answer option A, clockwise or B, anti-clockwise. Tell me your answer in the comment section. Fantastic. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. Let's move on. Now, this is a really difficult one. If you get this correct, I will be impressed. Cog A has 12 teeth and Cog B has 18 teeth. If Cog B completes one full turn, how many rotations will Cog A complete? Answer options. A, one rotation. B, 1.5 rotations. C, two rotations or D, three rotations. Read the question carefully. Tell me your answer in the comments section. Here is your 10 second timer. Pause the video if you want to. Excellent, question number 10. If the motor wheel on the left rotates clockwise, what happens to B and C? So the motor wheel there on the left rotates clockwise, what happens to B and C? Answer option A. B and C will move clockwise. Answer option B. B and C will move anti-clockwise. Answer option C. B will move clockwise and C will move anti-clockwise. Or D. B will move anti-clockwise and C will move clockwise. Tell me your answer. Here is your 12 second timer this time. Tremendous. So that is cogs and wheels complete. Let's now try a different type of common mechanical comprehension test question. Question 11. Which pendulum will swing the fastest? Pendulum A, B, C or D? We have to choose which one will swing the fastest. Here is the solution. Now to make a pendulum swing faster, the length of the pendulum must be shortened. This can be achieved by moving the weight, which is shown there by the blue arrow, closer to the pivot point, which is there. That's the point where the pendulum is suspended. And we can see that the weight on pendulum A is closest to the pivot point. Therefore, the answer to question 11 would be A. Answer option A. And we can see that. We can confirm that answer because the weights on B, C and D are further down, which means those pendulums would swing slower. Correct answer A. So now it's your turn 
to try some more mechanical comprehension test questions, please tell me your answers to questions 12, 13, 14, and 15 in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much indeed. Here we go. Question 12. At which point will the pendulum travel the fastest? Most people will get this question wrong. Is it A, B, or C? Here is your eight second timer. Well done. Question 13 of our mechanical comprehension test. Ball A and ball B are an identical size and weight. If they are both released at the same time, what will happen? Answer option A. Ball A will reach the ground first. Ball B will reach the ground first. Or C, they will both reach the ground at the same time. Tell me your answer in the comments section. Here is your timer. Well done. Mechanical comprehension test question 14 is a different one, but this comes up all the time. Which cup gets filled last? Read the question, look at the diagram, answer the question. Which cup gets filled last? Here is your eight second timer. And question number 15, which direction should the wind blow for the plane to take off with the shortest runway? Is it A or B? Look at the direction of the wind and then tell me your answer. Which direction should the wind blow for the plane to take off with the shortest runway? Read the question. Please tell me your answer in the comments section. A or B, here is your timer. Brilliant. Well done. Now, in a second, I am going to start working through the answers with you. Make sure you tell me your answers in the comments section below the video, and I will also mark them for you. But before I do that, if you want to get access to more free online psychometric test questions to help you pass your mechanical comprehension test, click that link in the top right hand corner of the video at any time and go straight through to my website, howtobecome.com. Let's start working through the answers. Question number two, which is the best tool to use for breaking up concrete? Now you could choose A or B. C or D will not do the job, but the question states, which is the best tool? Well, it's clearly A, a sledgehammer, because that is specifically used to break up concrete. It's the best tool. Question number three, the ball is rolling down the hill. At which point will the ball be traveling the fastest? Well, the ball starts at point A, so it's not moving, it gets released. By the time it gets to D, it is traveling the fastest because it's gaining momentum. So therefore, question three, answer is D. Question four, which rope would require the most effort? Well, the lower down the mast the rope is, the, hardest it is, the harder it is to pull over. So the correct answer to question four is rope C. Did you get that correct? Question number five. Now this is one where lots of people answer incorrectly. Which load, A or B, is the heaviest? Well, the correct answer is C. They are both the same. Because even though load B looks heavier, have a look at the fulcrum point and the beam, which is balanced. So the beam, if it's balanced, means that the weights must be the same. So load A and load B are both the same weight. How many people would choose load B? Because it looks heavier. But just because it looks heavier, doesn't mean it is heavier. You have to look at the fulcrum and the beam. It is balanced. Question number seven. If cog D turns clockwise, which way will cog A turn? Well, if D turns clockwise, C will turn anti-clockwise, B clockwise, and A anti-clockwise. So the correct answer is B anti-clockwise. Mechanical comprehension question eight. This was a difficult one. If cog A turns clockwise, which way will cog F turn? I start to move around the sequence to the left. So H would turn counterclockwise, G would also turn counterclockwise, and F would be clockwise. So the answer to question eight is clockwise. Question nine. This was one of the hardest ones. If you get this correct, then you are doing tremendous. Cog A has 12 teeth and cog B has 18 teeth. So cog B has 18 teeth, cog A has of course 12 teeth. If cog B completes one full turn, 
how many rotations will cog A complete? Well, cog B has one and a half times more teeth than cog A, which means that if B does one full turn, A would do one and a half rotations. So the answer to question nine is B, 1.5 rotations. Question 10, if the motor wheel on the left rotates clockwise, what happens to B and C? Well, all of them will rotate clockwise. So the correct answer would be A, B and C will also move clockwise. Question 12, at which point will the pendulum travel the fastest? Lots of people would choose C, but that's not correct. The correct answer is, of course, B. Question 13, ball A and B are an identical size and weight. If they are both released at the same time, what happens? Well, the rate of decline is steeper for B than it is A, which means that ball B would hit the ground first. So the answer is B, ball B will reach the ground first. Question 14, which cup gets filled last? Well, the pipes are higher traveling to cup three, which means one and two will fill first before cup three. Which cup gets filled last? It's cup three. And question 15, which direction should the wind blow for the plane to take off with the shortest runway? For a plane to take off with the shortest runway, it needs to go into a head wind. That means the answer to question 15 is A, of course. Please tell me in the comment section below the video how many correct answers you got out of 15. If you got 12 or more correct, you are doing brilliantly. Now, thank you very much. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. To get more practice questions, click that link right now in the top right-hand corner of the video. Head straight through to my website, howtobecome.com, and you can get instant access for 30 days to my psychometric testing suite. You can try out lots of mechanical comprehension test questions. It's a great resource that will definitely help improve your scores. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video a like. Have a great day.